What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode, I think, four of Breaking the Bot. Uh, this is a super fun series where we just do silly things and set unrealistic goals that we almost always achieve. Uh, the idea is that we're going to try and break Arena, but... Uh, to make sure that we actually have a goal other than just breaking the bot, uh, the idea here is that we set ourselves some kind of really big goal, whether that's gain a thousand life or deal a thousand damage or whatever that might be. Uh, and in this one, we'll kind of talk about that as we go through the deck. So unlike previous episodes, this is actually a deck that I discovered on the best of one ladder. Um, and so this, this idea came from that deck. Uh, and I pulled in a lot of the exact same cards that I saw in that deck with a few kind of minor changes. But as you can kind of see, it's a Simic Finale deck. So the idea here is to ramp. We've got things like Llanowar Elves, Arboreal Grazer, Explore, Cultivate, Uro, uh, and of course Nyssa, and then a very key card, Nyx Bloom Ancient. So all of these are in here for ramp, but between Nyssa, who doubles all of the forest mana that we produce, and then Nyx Bloom Ancient, which triples uh, any land or, or any mana producing uh, element of our deck, uh, we can really do a lot. Now, what Spark Double is in here to do is to copy this. So we can actually triple the triple. Uh, and so we can we can technically get eight copies of Nyx Bloom Ancient out uh, to make it so essentially each land is producing an absolutely absurd amount of mana. I think we can get it to over a thousand pretty easily, uh, but it's really ridiculous. Um, and that's pretty much the majority of the deck, but where the finales come in, so Finale of Revelation, very awesome card, uh, pay X and two blue. Obviously X is gonna be quite a lot. Uh, draw X cards, and if X is 10 or more, shuffle your graveyard into your deck, then draw X cards and untap up to five lands. You then have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. And then of course you exile the finale. Um, the idea here is to essentially ramp up like crazy, draw pretty much our entire deck, uh, untap five lands, all of which produce a crazy amount of mana, and then cast a huge Finale of Devastation. Now, Finale of Devastation, X into green, uh, search our library and or graveyard for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less and put it onto the battlefield. That matters very little to us. That really isn't the big thing here. Uh, if you search your library in this way, though, shuffle it, and if X is 10 or more, which it will be, uh, creatures you control get plus X plus X and gain haste until the end of the turn. So, the goal. Get a massive uh, finale of devastation down where we essentially attack for multiples of thousands, maybe even multiple 10,000s. So, that's the whole thing. That's the idea. So uh, I think our goal for this one is going to be finale cannot tap for less than a thousand. X has to equal a thousand. That's our goal. Um, we may break the game in this process. I have done it a few times. Um, and so there is a possibility that we like stall the game to the point where it says, hey, you're going to concede and then nothing happens, uh, which I would consider breaking the game. But we're going to do the best we can uh, to just see how much damage we can actually do. I love this deck. I think it's silly, uh, and I'm really excited to try this one out. And again, once more, this is actually a deck that like I have seen played on the ladder to some success. Uh, I lost to it, uh, which is really funny. Um, but it works. It really works. Uh, it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> so uh, while I don't recommend necessarily playing this on the ladder, I think you can. Uh, which is pretty cool. Helpful. Uh, no attacks. So obviously the first few turns, pretty straightforward ramp deck. We're just ramping like as crazy as possible. Uh, I will go ahead and block here, obviously. That's fine. Play your little whatever. That one. That's cool. Alright. Land is good. Let's play that. Uh, I'm actually going to put that on the bottom, and I'm going to Uro here. Goodness, our frame rate is terrible. Even in this context, that's pretty bad. Alright. Didn't hit anything off of Uro, but that's fine. We don't run a very high land count. It's still 24 lands, um, which is kind of funny, but we don't really... To be honest, because each land taps for so much, it kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> um, Alright, well, here we go. I'm regretting the only 24 lands. All right. Realistically, we should have more, but this is a 
a silly series, so who cares? Uh, let's uro. Oops, let's uro. There we go. Hopefully hit a land. There we go. Uh, that's what we needed. Now we can get Nissa out, and then we can actually start moving forward here. Um, Nissa is really, really key to helping us get to the Nyx Blue Mancient. Cool. That hurts. Ow. Really bad. Okay. Nissa. Um, I'm actually just going to do this. Uh, and we're not going to attack because we can't. We have set ourselves that goal. Uh, thankfully, we have the finale of Revelation in hand. Uh, here. A little block. That's fine. All right. Let's do this. Triple up on all that mana. Um, put this up. We're going to throw this out. Going to copy Nyx Bloom Ancient. Um, and I think we're just going to pass. We don't have to we don't have to go crazy right this second. But next turn is our turn. All right, here we go. So, let's play Hmm. <laughs> uh, I love it. All right. <laughs> So each land is tapping for at minimum nine at the moment. Um, so how much mana do we have? Technically, let's untap one of these. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So we do this. How many cards in our deck? Uh, 41 plus six. So we can draw like 45, technically. Do we have enough mana for that? No, well, that's fine. Cool. So we draw all but one card in our deck. Seems good. Uh, untap five lands. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's good, right? Um, let's play forest. Spark double. <laughs> uh, we'll say, a bit of a downside to the deck, it's a little tricky to see the cards. <laughs> um, but, you know, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, there's finale. Where is there's another spark double? All right, so that's all the spark doubles, um, which is good. <laughs> uh, let's play Nick's Bloom Ancient. We we can auto pay. That's fine. How much how much mana does one land produce? Is the question. Okay, good. Over two hundred. <laughs> um. All right. All right. Look. Look. Um, whoops. Can we? There we go. Get get another one out there. You know, at some point, you just gotta wonder if this is this is just excessive. Um. Okay, I'm looking through the deck because I know we've got. Yeah. There's no. Nope, not not what I meant. This one. Good. Yeah, we can auto pay that. We're slowing down pretty heavily, as as expected. That's fine. Uh, let's to maximize things here. Let's uh, let's let's throw every little thing out. Put a breeding pool out. That's fine. So the reason I'm I'm gonna throw these grazers out is because uh, they're gonna get haste and plus X plus X from the <laughs> the finale. So we might as well, like, overload it to the best of our ability. Uh, yeah, you can go out there. That's fine. <laughs> uh, slowing down significantly here. So that's a good sign. Uh, we can also get these Llanowar Elves out here. Like, we, we got we got some options. Let's get Hinterland Harbor. We, we're trimming this hand down. That's, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> Uh, all right. Let's play play Llanowar Elf. If it'll let us. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is from one land. We we have tapped one land. 
uh, for for two hundred and thirty some odd uh, uh, mana here. <laughs> We're getting nine frames a second. Sorry, guys. Welcome to the world of, of breaking the bot. Uh, okay, do we have? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's. let's we're we're maximizing. That's what we're doing. This is what we're we're about. Sorry, I'm so choppy, uh, but this is the world we live in now. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Get get the last grazer out. Uh, there is one more elf, so we'll get that elf out. Um, and then and then we're gonna tap one land and just see how much mana we actually produce here, because uh, we do have all. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we have all eight of these out. Uh, now, some of you may have said, you know, why didn't you, there's the, is it Mirror Mage or whatever it is? The enchantment that allows you to uh, copy an enchantment. Um, and you may be wondering very correctly uh, why we didn't throw that in. Uh, and the question, or, or the answer, excuse me, is just that um, I, I frankly forgot about it. We could have gone, you know, I, I don't know that this is enough. Uh, and it would have been nice to have, to have been able to really take it to the next level. Uh, and so I'm very sorry. That was a missed opportunity. Uh, but we're here now, and we're going to do the best we can. All right, I have tapped a forest. That added... <laughs> All right. Well, we have two... <laughs> let's... let's. This taps for 2,187 mana. Let's see if it'll actually tap, though. Uh, we may only, I, I think we're going to only tap those two because, uh, keep in mind, I have to click plus five for all of this. <laughs> so it's going to take a sec. Um, all right. All right. Let's, uh, how, how high do you want to go? Oh, we can go really high. Like we can, we, the sky's the limit guys. We, we can go as, as far as we want into this. Um, I'm thinking minimum a thousand, but we obviously have more mana at our disposal. So we're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> I've I've never been able to do this in this capacity before. This is pretty amazing. It just feels right. You know? I hope this is as satisfying for you all as it is for me, because this is great. Uh we did not technically break the bot, however, I will say. Um, I'm, I'm opting to do the cooler thing, which is to attack for a ton. Uh, if, uh, we had attacked, or excuse me, if we had tapped one more land, I guarantee you the game would have frozen. Uh, and it would have just sat here. Like it would have been static and just sitting here, uh, because I have done that, <laughs> uh, a lot. Um, and so that is very possible. Um, I, I think, you know, we'll, we'll really quick, we'll, we'll just go to 2000. <laughs> Is that okay with you guys? <laughs> My finger's gonna start hurting at this point, so um, we're we're almost there. We we got this, and let's uh, we got to make it a nice even two thousand. There we x, x equals two thousand. Is that cool with you guys? Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, all right, um, we'll search the library. Um, goodness, that was loud. Worth noting that could have killed us if we had had one less card in our deck. Um, yeah, let's let's put a land out there. Did we did we win? Did we break it? So how strong are our creatures? <laughs> it's a two thousand and one era Lanoir Elf. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Let's let's attack in. <laughs> Uh, worth noting, if they uh, if they just block here, they save themselves, you know, 2,000 damage, which is pretty good. All right, let's see how far down we get them. <laughs> this is the slowest attack phase I've ever seen. There we go. All right, negative 36,011. I think that's a safe win. Uh, we were still at 18, so we were good. <laughs> All right, well, we didn't technically break the bot, um, 
again, we kind of knew that we had an out there, so that's fine. This was a relatively quick one as well. This wasn't like an extremely long video by any means, or at 15 minutes. Uh, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, you can you can pretty easily break it. Uh, and again, I just want to say this is actually like a deck that I've played. I'm not saying it's super viable, but I'm saying try it out. Uh, because it might be. It's it's kind of cool. Uh, so I do recommend, recommend excuse me, trying this one out. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this episode of Breaking the Bot. No, we technically didn't break it, but we did get them to negative 36,011, uh, which I think is enough. So thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.